Hello everyone. Today we have Vardhan Singh. We'll be interviewing him. So, can you tell us a little bit about your book? Sure, about my book. The Journey of Forgiven Forgiveness and Resilience. So, it's about two strong individuals, Sara and Ethan. They both learned the importance of forgiveness and resilience through two stories, which I've written in one book. Great. How did you come up with the title and content of this book? The title and content of this book. See, if you write anything from the bottom of your heart, it comes by flow and naturally. You don't even have to think secondly about it. Because what comes what touches your heart and comes from your heart is always perfect. Great. What was your writing process? My writing process. It was I followed two strategies. Whips and BPD. They both are very important for writers. So whip stands for write imperfectly before sleep. Because if you write every day before sleep, it can do wonders. And my second, BPD. BPD is also very important. Book publishing day. So you have to first set a date where you publish your book, which will help you in being more determined. Wow. Did you face any challenges while writing this book? Challenges? Yeah, many. Like, first of all, I wrote this book in exam times, so all that pressure of exams. Then second of all, I did it with the homework of schools. And then I was also going in academy. And then, but all of these, in my bottom of the heart, I knew that this was the priority. That's why I chose this. And still got a balanced life and I can tell you I got good in the exams. So inspiring Vardhan. Is there any real life character that inspired you to write this book? Yes definitely. Why it came from my heart? Because my mother she's very resilient. She never ever gives up. And then my brother. Oh my lovely brother. He is like Sarah, he forgives so early and even forgets. Okay, how well do you think you have conveyed your emotions on the paper? Okay, see, I'm not the judge of that because I am the author. I'll say, wow, it's epic, it's epic. But so far, the reviews I got from the readers were all wonderful. Okay. What kind of response you have received so far? Yeah, as I just said, the response I received so far was wonderful. And then they all, I, I remember this one comment, which is my favorite. Wonderful Vardhan. This was an epic book. Please write more books like this. I have never wa seen my kids read like that. Okay. And they also implement it in their life. Okay, that's so good. What are your future plans and what are you are looking ahead? Sure. Uh, my future plans, there's just a new, uh, I've written a book which is in the publication stage about a video game. It's also about two very strong individuals who solve many problems. Okay. And then my, I'm trying to more and more books about the youth and how they have bad habits and like screen and junk food and how the values are going far and far and we should restore them. Is there any key, take, key takeaways for your readers in this book? Yeah, <laughs> there's two key, key, two key, key takeaways. First of all, always forgive and forget because in the end what can you do at most you have to forgive and your brain will also be bad if you don't forgive and remember it in your mind 
and the second key takeaway is never ever give up because there's a saying I really love when you give up is when you're the closest to achieving yes that's the two key to key takeaways amazing amazing so lastly what advice do you have for the other writers okay so the to the other writers i also urge you to follow my two strategies whips and bpd as i told you earlier because they can help you a lot and if you're in a if you're burdened with all of the things it's not always important to prioritize everything. Sometimes you can prioritize first. Sometimes you can prioritize the other. That's what I want. Okay. Thank you. Bye.